mimi naomba Mungu wale watafanya hiyo kazi wafanye ile kazi inavaa hiyo kila mwananchi wote wa Embu County aweze kumbenefit nikimwambia mko na jamba jamba inatetea nyinyi watu wetu wa Embu County mara mingi mimi nakuanga Embu Senate wa mali mlimpati mlimpeleka na kuanga huko tuse wenese dhashi hiyo siku zingine sote niko Embu County kuangalia mwananchi wa Embu County aendelee nje na ndio na Embu County naomba tuweze kuomba kwa sababu inaonekana serikali ya Kenya iko na shinda ya hela sisi wote tuombe juu ya mvua ya ya hii mwezi wa tatu na mwezi wa nne ndio tuweze kusaksini nimi hakuna mtu tunapokuza mbele sawa niko toraugana kinya toromere ha aki na there is no free land in bere south one ngu anonga meta na magoro mairi wakuna ambayo haina mwenyewe there is no free land there is no free land kugua kenwe ni kibaka kya bere south tabuta mwenyewe fuata maneno ya biblia seek and you shall find knock on the door and the door will be opened unto you lakini sio kwa get crash hiyo tumekata nikiwa mumbunge nimekata nimesema kuna get crashers in bere south we are foreseen in the news that the anti corruption authority raided the criteria uh, lad board and they arrested some officers i want to thank the anti corruption authority for taking that good step to come and witness for themselves what the bare people have been saying that there's a lot of corruption going on in our land office there those who are arrested the government should take the necessary steps to ensure that this act is actually stopped let it be a deterrent to all others who have been practicing the same not just in bere south not just emp county but also in the whole country as a whole it is the right of everybody to get service from the government free without paying uh, fees which are not documented when one goes to the lad board one has already paid a fee which is supposed to cater for the processing so this other money which they are asked to pay and i hear that everybody must pay 2000 before your papers are received for scrutiny that is corruption and i would ask you to ambere south wasili pay your pesa tena they have seen acc come and they have done their work so they, we should be make this one the turning point now let nobody pay money which is not being received any money which is which has got no government receipt that is corruption now the, the people of moya are crying that they need title deeds we support the issue of people getting their title deeds the problem is not administration the problem with title deeds is not even the politicians the problem is the people themselves because we are talking of issues of court cases court cases are not taken to court by by politicians they are not taken to court by administration they are taken to court by the people themselves why they go to court because one party wants justice and the other party is trying to become uh, unfair what we are saying is this let the people themselves in the bare south in moya go for justice let them be justice kila mtu apate haki yake na kusema kila mtu apate haki yake si kusema iko watu tunavukuza hapana the other day when i talked about it people said i'm trying to divide the community no there is no community where everybody wants land let me say they speak the truth hakuna community hapa in kenya at kila mtu ambaye amezaliwa ako na shamba but what we do is if you want land you go and look for it if you don't have it when you get it then there will be a procedure for you to to own it so imambo ya watu kupigana hiyo ndio mbaya hiyo ndio imefanya watu wasipate title mimi ningewaomba watu wa mbere south wote waache mambo ya kupigania mashamba wafuate haki na kila mtu apate haki ya haki yake na mashamba kwa vile haiwezi tosha kila mtu yule atabaki na anja pata atavute binu sa kupata shamba the bible says seek and you shall find tumekunja hapa ni siku ya jumapili leo seek and you do what you shall find that is matthew chapter 7 verse 7 yule ana shamba na atavute na atapa atapata ukipata pali umepata lazima uvuate mashati 
ile itakufanya you own that chamber and have a title si kutumia nguvu knock on the door and the door will be opened unto you ukipata enda kwa mwenyewe kwa upole kwa unyenyekevu don't go as and get crash you say that you can right no you have to go and ask whose land is this i am interested in it how can i own it unapewa mashati na unapata sha shamba Mjomba ya kwamba serikali iweze kuangalia yale maneno ya mashamba yale yako katika mbele south yenye watu wanjapata titles. Tuko na hii ugonjwa ya makima land scheme. Si watu waketi chini, waangalie kama wewe uko na eka zako moja. Kubali tu watu waketi chini wakawe shamba kulingana na vile e, mwananchi anataka. Sisi kama viongozi tuitwe tuketi chini, tukue na hata viongozi wa mashinani tuangalie. Hakuna haja ya mtu akue kwa shamba kwa miaka kumi, miaka ishirini, alafu anaambiwa atoke mahali yako. Ni kitu inavai watu waketi chini wamalize. Wacha hata huku makema. Ukienda upande wa chini wa Kiambere, tuko na area zingine hata siku ya leo taito wazija toka. Na hii yote nikiangalia naona ni kwa sababu ya wale wafanyikazi kama kienda ku, ku, kupeleka ma, mahitaji yako katika ile land, eh, land bond kama lazima utoe kitu unajua kama una pesa bwana hauta hata ketu wa kusikize utapata ile shinda uko nayo pale kwa shamba yako itaendelea kuwa pale kama wewe ni maskini kama wewe ni mtoto wa maya, eh, ni, 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 umetoka kwa familia mayatima hautaweza kupata ile haki yako ya shamba kwa sababu wewe una kitu na ndio tunasema hii shinda yote inaletwa na uongozi ule umoyako katika kuangalia maneno ya mashamba. So I would call upon the national government, the relevant authorities wa Keti chini tumalize hii maneno ndio hata sisi kama viongozi watu wetu tuweze kuelekeza eh, mahali wanaweza tumia zile vieti vyao vya, vya shamba kupata pesa ndio waweze kujinuvaisha na kupata services zingine kupitia yale zile cheti zao za shamba. Sisi tumeona pale katika our land office. Tumeona kwamba Uh, the the land bond imeweza kushikwa na uh, makachelo wa uh, anti corruption mimi kama kiongozi ningesema kwamba yale maneno ni maneno ya aibu katika eneo letu la mbere south na ningeomba mheshimiwa wetu eh uh, uh, muriuki yeye ndiyo ako na lile jukumu la kufanya oversight katika zile ofisi za lands kwa sababu wale watu wamewekwa pale na sheria ya the national government Wacha wale watu waweze kuchukuliwa she, hatua na ikiwezekana mimi msimamo wangu ni kwamba wale watu wamekuwa wakinyanyaza watu wa mbele south kwa sababu hakuna vile kama sina shilingi elfu mbili, elfu tano ama elfu kumi, nitaweza kuwa eh, kushughulikiwa maneno ya maneno ya shamba langu mimi nimeshuhudia kwamba watu wamekuja kwa maofisi zangu wakilia eh, kwamba wameenda kwa land bond hawanjaweza kukuwa na kikao na wale watu kwa sababu wana hela Inabidi sisi kama viongozi wa mashinani tuweze kupatia wale watu hela wanakuja wanatudanganya ni, ni afya ama transport kumbe wanaenda kuhonga eh, ile, ya, ile kamiti mimi ningeomba ya kwamba ile kamati iweze kutupiriwa mbali wacha land bond ichaguliwe upya tukuwe na viongozi ambao ni viongozi wa safi hawana ile maneno ya kuchukua pesa kutoka kwa mwananchi kwa sababu hata sisi kama ma MCA we are offering free services to the community tukiangalia kama ni machief they are not changing for anything to offer the services to mwananchi. Kwa nini wale wamewekwa pale na sheria ya the National Land eh, Act kukua kama kamati ya kuangalia maneno ya region ya shamba waweze kuwa kiketi chini wananyanyaza mwananchi. Hiyo kama kiongozi nimekataa na inasema ya kwamba nitaangalia yale maneno na nitaendelea kuongea kama kiongozi kuhakikisha ya kwamba watu wetu wa mbele south hawanyanyazwi na wapate viongozi ambao si eh, viongozi wako na ile eh, si corrupt of issues kwa sababu hiyo tunaikataa na tunasema itaendelea katika bere south tukiwa kama viongozi. Katika eneo hili la bere south najua kuna shinda ya mashamba na katika katika eneo hili la bere south ningeomba ya kwamba serikali ihakikishe ya kwamba uh, shinda ya shamba katika eneo hili imechukuliwa hatua na waarakishe wa kuona ya kwamba we, wakaji wa eneo hili wamepewa mashamba yao na wameshughulikiwa haraka iwezekanavyo kwa sababu wamekuwa na shida hii kwa muda sasa na pia tunajua kuna wale ambao uh, ma officials wale tuseme walishikwa na ESCC uh, ni takriban watu sita hivi ambao wa, kuna semekana walishikwa kwa sababu ya mambo ya corruption uh, ama kupewa hongo ile nikasema ni kwamba uchunguzi ufanywe kamili kuonekane ka, kama kwamba yenyewe wameshikwa na jabo la corruption wachukue watua lakini wasikimbize 
uh, wachunguze uh, pole pole wajue nani ambaye amehusika na kama kuna yeye amehusika achukuliwe hatua kama uh, ni mambo ya porojo pia wachunguze zaidi so that hakuna uh, mtu ambaye atachukuliwe hatua na ako innocent ama ana hatia yeyote ya kuonekana ya kwamba amechukua hongo katika eneo hili na katika lad body yetu ya embu ni mheshimiwa nzangi uh, mimi ndio MCA wa Makema Ward uh, ward ambayo ni kubwa zaidi hapa Bere South uh, sub county uh, constituency Mwea sub county ningependa kusema kwamba tulipata habari ya uh, watu ambao waliweza kushikwa pale kiritire uh, kwa lands board uh, kwa sababu za ufisadi kuhusu mashamba uh, ni jambo la aibu na la kufadhaisha ya kwamba watu ambao wamepewa nafasi ya kuhudumia wananchi wanazidi kuwapora na nafikiri pengine inawezekana kuwa haya ndio mambo yamekuwa yakiendelea ndiposa hata watu wetu hapa hawapati title deeds na hawapati uh, service ambayo inafaa katika mashamba tunasema hivi tutafuatilia tuone kama serikali itafuta justice kwa watu wa hapa Bere South constituency na watu wote ambao uh, wanahitaji haki ya mashamba kana kuwa huo 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 ufisadi wa, wa ardhi ambao ulipatikana pale kwa Landsbond. Inawezekana ndiyo changio moto e, e, changamoto zaidi ya sisi kupata title deeds zetu hapa. Kwa sababu hao ndiyo tu watu wanaweza kuleta siasa hata kuenda kulipa watu waende kotini waharibu kazi za hapa ili waendeleze ukora wao. Tunasema hivi kwa sababu tumeona wameshikwa tunataka haki ya mwananchi itendeke na tuione.